In today's uh, uh, video tutorial, we're going to uh, model a LED a sleeve for an LED flashlight, and uh, we're going to uh, in the beginning part of the tutorials, we're going to go over some basic tools for working with curves, so that we can produce the body of our sleeve using the surfaces of revolution command. So we're going to focus most of our attention on working on this profile or detailing this profile curve. And we're going to use that as a means of introducing ourselves to some of the curve tools. The principal uh, tool that we're going to use in this work is going to be uh, curve boolean which allows us to join curves a series of curves intersecting curves into a single curves and we're also going to go over uh, the chamfer and the fillet command again I work by going to our layers command and isolating those elements that we want to uh, work with I'm going to take these points I'm going to hold down the shift key and select those points, these two points, and I'm going to move those uh, points to the rotation axis layer. And I'm going to use my change object layer to do that so that both the axis and the points on the change axis layer, I'm going to isolate uh, this. I'm going to actually make a copy. I'm going to copy and paste this, edit, copy edit, paste, and I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to change that object layer and I'm going to change this name of this layer to profile. So with that done, uh, I can go back in and I can turn off some of these other elements uh, that I really don't need to work with uh, right now. Okay, and so now I'm going to begin some of my curve operations that I can use to uh, modify and model the uh, profile of, of our flashlight. Now remember that the flashlight width was a quarter inch, and I gave you sort of like a quarter inch as a guide for our flashlight, and perhaps you don't want to... Uh, uh, have one that's that thick. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this and let's see if we can find the the midpoint of this line segment right here. And So I'm going to use my mid line segment there and I'm going to get a point and see, yeah, there we go. I can uh, identify the midpoint of that curve. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to draw a line and I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to move that down here like that. And that way I have this line now that's at the midpoint of this curve. And I'm going to move this up just a little bit. Oops. Got it all. I just want this line right here. I'm going to move that up like that so that that intersects. So I have a line now at the midpoint of that curve. Okay. And and using that as a guide, I'm going to now draw, let me turn off my mid snap. I'm going to, I'm going to draw a line and we'll use a near. And I'm going to draw a curve that looks like this. I'm going to go over here to this quarter inch edge down here like that and over to here like that okay and so I have this detail like so the profile looks like that and here let me take this one right here and I'm going to use my points on command And I'm going to slide this point up, holding down my shift key, so it matches the bottom profile a little better, more closely. Okay. And I've got that. And in here, I'm going to add a circle. A 
circular element like that. And here, we come down here, let me right click to repeat my circle command. And I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to produce a couple circles, being very careful not to intersect the inner part of my lamp. I don't want to do that. I'm just going to add a circle there like that. And now I'm going to take that. I'm going to hold down my, turn on my ortho snap so that I can drag this down. Hold on a second. Let me turn off my um, near snap. I'm getting some interference from my near snap. Now I can drag that down and I'm going to alt tap my, tap my alt key. And you notice how that plus appears. I'm going to add that like so. Okay. And down here near the bottom, I'm going to get my um, square tool, rectangle tool. Let me turn off my near snap. And I'm going to create a couple notches in the bottom, or a big notch right here, using... And that's going to produce a, this is going to produce a band. And I'm going to drag that, take that with my ortho snap turned on, alt tap, to add that detail like so. And so I have this new circular profile. And I'm going to turn all of this into a uh, single curve, but I'm going to use my curve boolean command to do that. Curve boolean right here. You can also go to curve, curve edit tools, curve boolean to execute the same command. Okay. And so it asked me, curve boolean asked me, uh, first of all, let me redo the command. And I want to turn off everything first. And now let me redo the command. And it asks me to select the curves that I want to use. And I want to use all of the curves that are within this region, uh, like so. And let me hold on my shift key and make sure I get that one. And you can right click to enter. And now it asks me to click inside regions to keep press enter when done. And I want to delete input. I want to delete everything that I'm not using. So I just have the new profile. So I can click here like so. I have that. Notice how it keeps those regions there. I'm going to add that region, uh, like so there. I'm going to make these Audis. I'm going to make that one an Audi, like that. This one also I'm going to make an Audi. And I'm also going to make these Audis. And then I can uh, right click to input that command. And now I'm left with this new curve. Okay. Now, if I want to see uh, what that looks like, I can use my revolve command. And I'm going to use the point snaps right here because I'm going to start my revolve axis to here. I'm going to end it here because I want it to revolve around this line. And my start angle is zero. In my end angle, I want it to revolve a full 100, 360 degrees, which is a complete revolution. And, and we revolve it. And now when we look at this in perspective, and let's go into our ghosted mode, we have our flashlight detail. And notice that all the details for the flashlight came from that single curve that I used uh, using the curve boolean tool, which allows you to take intersecting lines and create a shape I'm going to change this object layer that on the profile layer so I can come down here. That whole shape is driven uh, by this line. And you could actually go back into that line 
and continued to revise it to uh, to to um, uh, to uh, refine refine your shape. I'm going to stop this now, and I'm going to pick up uh, in the next part of the tutorial. I'm going to pick up, and I'm going to add. Uh, I'm going to go over some basic uh, filleting and chamfering uh, commands to show you how you can further uh, add details to this basic design using your fillet and chamfer. But we're going to stop it here for right now.